During Cold War, when the world was divided between two superpowers, the Soviet Union and the America, the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan (DRA) came under influence of Soviet Union. It had borders with Soviet Union and it was ruled by pro-Soviet communist government PDPA. In the late 1970s, Afghan opposition group rebelled against PDPA. In order to save Afghan communist regime, the Soviet invaded Afghanistan in 1979 to fight against rebel forces, which were then backed by the United States and its ally Pakistan. In this war, thousands of Afghan fled their homes into the neighboring countries. Eventually, Soviets lost the war and withdrew from Afghanistan in 1989. After Soviet withdrawal, rebel groups started fighting among each other for power control. This ignited civil war in Afghanistan. Thousands of Afghan fled their homes and started pouring into neighboring country of Pakistan, mostly women and children. Pakistan took this opportunity and planned to influence Afghan politics by raising extremist groups out of these children from refugee camps. These children were mostly from Pashtun areas belonging to Sunni sect which fits perfect according to Pakistan and Saudi ideology. Pakistan started brainwashing these children by providing them free Islamic education in madrasas funded by Saudis. In these religious schools, they were taught strict Islamic law and beliefs and motivated to fight against other rebel groups by giving them combat training. These children would later be known as Talibs, which basically means student in Pashto language, who would later form Taliban group. With the hope of controlling Afghanistan through Taliban, Pakistan provided financial and military support. They also sent additional Pakistani forces to fight alongside Taliban against anti-Taliban elements. Pakistani military and air force was also involved. Eventually, Taliban gained upper hand and control over most of Afghan areas and established Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan in 1996. During their rule, Taliban and their allies committed massacre against Afghan civilians, denied UN food supplies to 1,600,000 starving civilians, and conducted a policy of scorched earth, burning vast areas of fertile land and destroying 10,000s of homes. Oppressed women Women were forbidden from education, forced to wear burqas. Women could not leave their house without male relatives accompanying them. Sports and entertainment mediums were banned, restricted modern education discriminated against minorities, most Sikh and Hindus fled their homes to escape forced conversion. Taliban did cultural genocide, destroyed numerous monuments including famous 1500-year-old Buddhas of Bamiya. Taliban also formed alliances with other extremist groups involved in Kashmir insurgency targeted against Indian security forces. During their term, they also received strong resistance from the anti-Taliban forces like Northern Alliance supported by world major powers. Pakistan continued to support Taliban until US invasion of Afghanistan in 2001, but following the fall of Kabul on 15 August 2021, the Taliban regained effective control of the governance of Afghanistan with the support of Pakistan. Northern Alliance and other anti-Taliban forces are again reorganizing themselves as second resistance against Taliban forces.